He is known for his diverse background and upbringing, having been born to an Irish mother and a father of French and Native American heritage. He is recognized for his determination and resilience, having overcome the loss of his father at a young age and working his way through college. His name is Monty Blue. In the early 20th century, a man named Gerard Montgomery Bluefeather was born in Indianapolis, Indiana. Known to the world as Monty Blue, he would go on to become a celebrated actor, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. Monty Blue's early life was marked by hardship. After his father's tragic death in a railroad collision, his mother struggled to raise four children on her own. Unable to cope, she made the difficult decision to admit Monty and one of his brothers to the Indiana Soldiers and Sailors Children's Home. But Monty's determination and resilience shone through. He worked his way through Purdue University, showing the world his unwavering spirit. Standing tall at 6 feet 3 inches, Monty Blue possessed both physical presence and talent. He dabbled in various professions, working as a fireman, boilermaker, coal miner, and even a ranch hand. But it was his time at D.W. Griffith Studios that truly shaped his destiny. He started as a day laborer but soon discovered his passion for acting. Monty's journey from humble beginnings to the silver screen was just beginning. In the early days, Monty Blue was far from a seasoned actor. With no theatrical experience, he ventured into the world of cinema and found himself as a stuntman extra in movies like The Birth of a Nation and Intolerance. These small parts paved the way for him to work alongside acclaimed directors like D.W. Griffith and Cecil B. DeMille, gradually moving into supporting roles. But it was his breakthrough role as Danton in Orphans of the Storm that catapulted Blue to stardom. Sharing the screen with the Gish sisters, Lillian and Dorothy, he showcased his talent and charisma, earning recognition as a rugged romantic lead. From there, he went on to star opposite leading actresses such as Clara Bow, Gloria Swanson, and Norma Shearer, often partnering with Marie Prevost in several films at Warner Brothers. One of Blue's notable performances came in MGM's White Shadows in the South Seas, where he portrayed an alcoholic doctor seeking paradise. Despite the challenges of the sound revolution, Blue managed to survive the transition from silent films to talkies, a feat not accomplished by many of his contemporaries. However, the stock market crash of 1929 took a toll on his investments, causing him financial setbacks. Undeterred by the setbacks, Blue rebuilt his career as a character actor, showcasing his versatility and talent. He continued working in films until his retirement in 1954, leaving behind a rich legacy of memorable performances. Even after his retirement, he made appearances in various television series, often in westerns like Annie Oakley. One of his most memorable character roles came in Key Largo, where he portrayed the sheriff opposite Lionel Barrymore. Blue's talent and contributions to the motion picture industry were duly recognized when he received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960, cementing his place in Hollywood history. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.